Hey guys, it's Bobby here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to compile a Unity project into an iOS app on a Windows PC. So to start this, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a Mac OS X Mountain Lion or Mavericks Virtual Machine, which I can I'll show you how to do in was one of my first videos, which I'll put an annotation here and in the description. And also, you're going to need a USB flash drive. So let's get right into it. So I just had this little game right here. And it's just this little game. It's it it's just for an example where it just bounces around the screen. So I'm gonna use that. So what you need to do is that you need to make sure you save all your scenes and your project. And now go ahead and put your whole project on a USB flash drive. Which I will do right now. Which I have Ubuntu on mine, but that does it doesn't matter. Let me find my thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and put it on my flash drive. Well, I want to paste a shortcut. And if your project's kind of big, it might take a minute, but. Yeah, let's go ahead and skip this part of the video, and I will be right back. All right, so it's about finished. So now, after this is completed in a second, you're going to need to open up your virtual machine. And see, this this if this comes up, it's just because you have Unity open. Just close Unity. And give it a second. And then once you close it, you can just click Try again, or you can just click Skip. It does that file does not matter. Okay, so now go ahead and open up your virtual machine, which as I said, you can go ahead and check out my video about how to make this and get it working and everything, which is in the description. Alright, so I'll be back once this starts up. Okay, I'm back and my virtual machine has started up. So now what you need to do is install Xcode and Unity for Mac. And just warning you, if you once you get the Unity for Mac, you don't want to edit anything because it will be so slow. It just it'll freeze and you'll lose all your work. So do all your work on the Windows platform and then put it on the flash drive. Okay, so you can get Xcode directly from the Mac App Store. You just gotta search up Xcode and then you'll find it. Which it sees it it's a virtual machine, so it's gonna take a long time to load, so I'm not gonna load that right now. And to get Unity you well, I guess I'll show you. And to get Unity you need to go to Unity I think it's Unity dot org. I uh, just search it in Google to search da Unity download and download the one for Mac. So yeah. So once you have both those installed, which they're pretty big files, so if you have slowish internet you're probably gonna have to wait a while. Alright, so what you want to do now is, with your flash drive installed, find your flash drive on here and select it. See, I've already selected mine, but I'll go ahead and do that again. Actually, I don't know if this is, actually, I think it might be this one. If It might, usually, like if you have a sand disk or something like that, then, um, okay, here we go. Okay, see, it's kind of glitched out right now, but usually only one of these will pop up and you click your flash drive. So this is my flash drive and you want to go ahead and find your Unity project you just drag on there and go ahead and drag it into your virtual machine. And again since it's a virtual machine it might take a little bit longer than usual. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here until it's all transferred to the desktop and I will be back. So mine is finished copying to the desktop it only took about a minute. So go ahead now and first disconnect your flash drive by unchecking it on the thing so it safely removes and it'll recognize it on your main system. And now go ahead and disconnect it from the drive. You have to disconnect it from your computer because if you plug in your phone and your computer, or you plug in your phone and your flash drive at the same time, it will cause problems. So yeah, so go ahead and open up Unity for Mac. So I'll go ahead and do that. 
As I said, it, it, it will be a little bit slow inside of Unity because it is a virtual machine. And it is also being slow right now, so just bear with me. Okay, after restarting my virtual machine, I finally got Unity open. Sometimes the spotlight thing freezes, so you probably should go like into your application, select Unity, and that's what I did to get it open. So once you're in here, go ahead and click Open Other, or if you're in it, you just do File Open Project, and go to your desktop where you copied the file, and give it a second. It will be slow, so don't get impatient. I was getting really impatient having to restart my virtual machine, so try not to get too impatient. Okay, well. Oh, my goodness. As you can see, it's very, very slow. But I think that just worked as dragging it in. There we go. Just drag. I just figured. I'd just drag the folder in there, and then there you go. And it will import all the assets and everything. You know, open up your project. All right. So here is the game you made, and I'll demonstrate that it works. And though it will be laggy, but I will demonstrate. Hey, right, there we go. Okay. So I'll go ahead and click play. Give it a second. Oh wait, didn't open my scene yet. Yeah, there's a bunch of useless stuff in here. Alright, well I I it's somewhere in there. So go ahead and go to file build and run. And make sure your scenes are selected and select iOS and then click build and run. And then you can just you can save this wherever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and save it to the desktop and save it as um iOS app test. I'll go ahead and save it as that and I'll click save. And it will compile it into an iOS app. Oh and it'll no, it'll compile it into an Xcode project. That's what I mean. And then it should open up Xcode automatically. And if it doesn't, I'll, I can show you how um, to just open it. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, it's open up, opening up Xcode at the bottom. Here we go. Sometimes it doesn't open up automatically and you have to open it up, but we'll just give it a second and see what it does. Alright, well, it didn't open automatically, so go ahead and click Open Other. It's going to do that, but that's not important. So you, so you click Open Other, and then go to Desktop, and iOS App Test. Oops, I do not know what's happening. Okay. Open other. 
and then it'll be a Unity iPhone Xcode project. So I'll go ahead and open that. There we go. As you can see, it can be a little bit troublesome. So try not to get too fed up with it. All right, and it will process everything. All right, so now go ahead and go to, well, make sure you have Xcode selected instead of Unity. Go, you can go ahead and close Unity, not Xcode. Okay, it's glitching out right now. But usually you want to go over to the Build tab and click Clean because you need to clean out all the extra stuff inside of the game. And there we go, it cleaned it. Okay, so now you can go ahead and plug in your iOS device and see for me I have an iPhone 5. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Just give it a second to be recognized on the main system. And then you're going to want to do what you did with the flash drive where um you go over here, you click USB dev devices and click Apple iPhone. And then it will recognize your iPhone. As you can see, it's already recognizing mine. Which, if as long as you're a registered developer, it should work fine. I have a jailbroken iPhone, so it automatically does it for me. But, um... I'm going to close all this out. Alright. But it, I'd say if you're watching this video, you're probably a registered developer. If you're not, you're going to need a jailbroken iPhone. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube teaching you how to do it if you have a jailbroken iPhone. So everything will process, and there we go. So now go ahead and make sure your phone is unlocked. Or your iPod, it doesn't matter. And go ahead and click the play button. Which will build everything into a .app file and then put it on your phone. Oh, and this is actually something I forgot to do. So you gotta go to the project and click general, or not general, whoa. You go to build settings and make sure you have your code sign filled in. I'm gonna use a fake code sign, which you can YouTube a video how to do that. All right, so now go ahead and try it again. And it will take a minute. You'll, you'll get a bunch of warnings, but you can just ignore them because it's just for like little app icons, which you can fix later or you can fix it now if you'd like. Otherwise, it'll just put the default Unity um, pictures. And it is now on my phone. So if you look down your phone, you'll see a little Unity icon with the name of your thing and you will get this error saying it cannot launch but it will be there and go ahead and look at your phone and it will work boom, 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 boom. so thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video